So now I have a question. If we know the angle measures of a triangle, can we determine which side of the triangle is the largest and which side is the shortest? Uh, so in order to figure this out, we are going to use our video hamsters, and I'm going to arrange them into an equilateral triangle. So cheddar, beast, and buttercup. They form an equilateral triangle. They are the vertices, and that means that they're all equidistant from one another, and the angles that they form are 60 degree angles. So if Beast is just not feeling it and decides to move away from Cheddar and Buttercup, well, the distance between uh, Cheddar and Beast and Buttercup and Beast have definitely increased. And this angle here that's formed with Cheddar as the vertex, that is a rather large angle, right? And it looks like the side opposite Cheddar is the largest side. So it seems like to me that the largest side of a triangle might just be opposite the largest angle. And if I think back to triangles that I've worked with a lot, like a right triangle, well, I know on a right triangle, the hypotenuse is the longest side, and that's the side opposite the right angle. Okay, and the right angle is the largest angle of the triangle. And we've worked with obtuse triangles enough to know that the side opposite the obtuse angle has to be really long to span that gap, right? And so it appears to me just from my observations that the largest angle is gonna be opposite the largest side, and it is. So we're gonna make this conjecture 22, the side angle inequality conjecture. It says in a triangle, if one side is longer than another side, then the angle opposite the larger side is larger the angle opposite the shorter side. Um, and so as a consequence of this conjecture, I can create something like this, right? I can actually relate all three sides of the triangle. So a side A is opposite angle A, uh, side B is opposite angle B, and side C is angle, opposite angle C. And so if I know the measure of A is greater than the measure of angle B, which is greater than the measure of angle C, then I know that A is going to be greater than B, which is going to be uh, greater than C.